Let's add custom block drops to Minecraft 117.1 with Fabric. Let's see how to do that. All right, we found ourselves in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we will add custom drop blocks or as they are called in-game loot tables. Now, loot tables are not specifically only for blocks, but they can also be for entities or treasure chests. But in this case, we will take a look at the loot tables for the blocks and we'll add a loot table for the Ruby block and the Ruby or block. And we do this by navigating to our data folder and then our tutorial mod folder, right click new directory loot underscore tables. Very important that it is written correctly once more. And instead of that, we will create a new folder called blocks. This is with the S at the end. So this is indeed plural. And then right click new file ruby underscore or dot json and at the very bottom here no json scheme we can select if you have this the loot table as well or what we can also do is and i've linked this in the description below navigate to missold github io slash loot dash table this is a great loot table generator that is just gonna save you a lot of time, especially if you want really complicated loot tables. You can of course also take a look at the vanilla loot tables with just the same idea that we have used in the previous tutorial, just going to external libraries and then going to the vanilla folder. But this is really nice because you can add some functions, you can add some conditions like a match tool. So you can say, okay, we gotta have the specific tool for this to drop. There are so many things that you can actually put in here and it simply generates the JSON file for you. It's amazing. It's really really easy to use and I can just highly recommend using this if you want really complicated loot tables. Right, but back to our previously scheduled program. So we, of course, once again, start with the two curly brackets and then we have a type. And as you can see, there's quite a few types. Now our type is Minecraft block, of course. And then we have some pools. Now we will only use one pool in this example, which has one role. Now this one role will have one entry and this is simply going to be another type and that is going to be type item so we want to drop one item and that has this following name tutorial mod colon ruby underscore block that's how easy the actual loot table here is so what can we see here so the type should be self-explanatory this is a block and then we have this pools this is very interesting so pools are is basically a list of different loot tables. So so this would be a loot table right here, right? And within this loot table, we roll once and choose one of the entries. Now, of course, the entries could be more or less complicated. We could have a condition where you have to match a certain tool or a certain enchantment, something like that. In these very simple loot tables, we simply have one roll and then one entry inside of here. Another great resource for this is the loot table article on the fandom wiki for Minecraft, where you can actually see each of the tags here so you can for example see pools what they are some conditions that you might be able to add and this might take a while until you are able to like absolutely read this what this means but it is a great resource to understand them even better so that is also something i have linked in the description below right and now let's actually copy this over with the same method that we've used before so simply drag it in to the same folder while holding the control key down and then let's rename this to ruby underscore block here. And then we will see that we've made a mistake in the or. We want, of course want this to be ruby underscore or, but that's totally fine. So we now have a loot table for the ruby block and a loot table for the ruby or. And now we can see whether or not it has worked in game. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft and let's see. So if I were to mine the ruby ore with the stone pickaxe, you can see that it does take quite a lot of time and Nothing dropped. Why is that? Well, haha. Let's think back. In the mod blocks, we set the mining level to two. So this means that we have to have at least iron in order to actually mine this and for it to actually drop. So if I switch to iron and mine it, then as you can see, then the block actually drops, which is really, really cool. Same thing, of course, goes for the block here. The ruby block you can see that first of all it takes a long time so it's not going to work and if i do the iron pickaxe then you can see that it works and of course with diamond it works as well same with netherite so any harvest level that is above the specified one of course also works so i'd say that's pretty cool right that's how easy it is to add loot tables to minecraft i can only number one advice is to play around with this a little bit so that's a really good suggestion the other suggestion is of course check out both links in the description below for the loot table generator as well as the article on on the wiki both of those links are incredibly useful but that would be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would of course appreciate a like and i will see you in the next tutorial so yeah